What's up everybody? John Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and wand stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. Tapes this time, and I have a very, very massive tape update to do here. A whole bunch of 2018 releases, plus some very, very rare gems. Um, but first, what we are listening to in the background. Profanatica. Disgusting Blasphemies Against God. Yeah, this is the gold disc digipack edition from Hell's Headbangers. Absolutely high quality stuff here. Not to mention I still think this is their absolute best album. So yeah, this album still fucking kills. Alright. These first two tapes were given to me by a very, very good friend of mine and a very awesome fellow YouTuber by the name of Michael Lara. Not only do I consider this guy to be one of the coolest people I've ever been acquainted with, but I also consider him to be one of the best YouTubers you probably may not be aware of. This guy absolutely knows his stuff. He is a genius when it comes to knowing about black metal, but also has a very fond passion for vinyl and tapes and all sorts of other cool shit. But um, he wanted to give me two tapes. So, I was very flattered by the, the gesture, and he hooked me up with two tapes from the very awesome Caligari Records. And this first tape is a really, really badass one. Uh, yeah, this is Ziggurat with Ritual Miasma. Yeah, this was released through Caligari Records, and uh, I believe this is their debut release. Uh, I'm pretty sure this came out, I don't know if it came out last year or this year, but uh, these guys are based out of Israel. And they play a really, really solid style of death metal. Uh, kind of an intense sort of sound going for them. It's a five track EP, but with this Ritual Miasma EP, it just shows you how impressive this band truly is. Really great vocals, awesome guitar riffs. I mean, the title track, Summoning the Giant Serpent, uh, Death Rites Transcendence. Absolutely killer songs going on here with this uh, this EP, but I think greater things are going to be coming from this band, this band's horizon very very soon. But yeah, let me show you the contents of the tape here. Uh, very nice uh, J card here. Very high quality stuff here. You have lyrics for most of the tracks. Um, yeah, the the just the over this overall EP is awesome. You have most lyrics here, credits here. Love this artwork here, very, very badass. Uh, comes on a black pro tape. I'm pretty sure the program repeats on both sides. Very, very good quality on this tape. Very impressive release. Uh, this next tape is a very, very good one, and uh, this is probably of one of the most obscure bands going in death metal today. This is Oxenis with Soker Idioti. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I probably pronounced that wrong, but oh well, shit happens. Uh, yeah. Uh, Oxenis are based out of Finland, and like I said, they are probably one of the best, most obscure bands going in death metal today in terms of the artwork, their sound quality, their delivery. Um, very, very dark, ugly, vomitous death metal, and uh, this is an EP release that got put out through Caligari Records. And, um, yeah, a lot of songs that begin with the letter E, can't really pronounce most of them, but, yeah, Oxenis delivers something very special with this EP. It's just really grody, weird, obscure-sounding death metal, and very much original from the pack. And this is a band that really deserves to be paid attention to. I believe this year they put out a brand new album through uh, Nuclear War Now, uh, Cold May Toysta if I'm not mistaken. That's some seriously sick shit, but uh, this is a very nice little pre-dated offering to that. But uh, let me show you the contents of the tape here. Very, very rowdy stuff. There you see this front cover. Very, very badass. I believe these are the band members in question. And there you see the track listing. All the songs begin with the letter E. They all look very, very similar to one another. Yeah, really rowdy shit. Love this artwork. I'm pretty sure these are all the band members, but their faces are all fucking obscure as fuck. Really, really wild stuff. But yeah, I love the imagery of this band. This is something that sets them apart from the rest. 
But, uh, yeah, it comes on a white pro tape. Side, uh, side soaker, side EDUT. Really, really good shit. But yeah, pay attention to Oxenis. They are one of the best obscure death metal bands going today. So yeah, uh, Soaker EDUT by Oxenis. Check this one out. We head to the UK for this next one. And this band I've been hearing a whole bunch of shit about throughout the years. Uh, yeah, this is Vessel of Iniquity with a self-titled EP. Yeah. I believe this was released in 2016, and this is the tape version put out through Sentient Ruin. Uh, Sentient Ruin are easily one of the best underground tape labels to be going right now. I know, I know they. I, I'm pretty sure that um, that the, that label is going to continue to have con great, great success. But uh, this is one of the releases that they most put out recently, and uh, this this is a project based out of the UK, and it's very, very visceral noisy sounding black metal but yet there's a lot of tastefulness going on with it it's a really really impressive EP it's only three tracks long but you're gonna get the most out of this this EP it's only like 15 minutes long but this is some seriously impressive black metal I love the vocals I love the guitarist I just love how dissonant and wild everything sounds it's just seriously killer black metal but let me show you the contents of the tape here Nice cardstock here with this artwork. Very, very badass. Some more wild, wild and crazy artwork here. Very, very high quality stuff here going on with this tape. Uh, it comes with a download card, but if you want that download, go buy the tape yourself. And I know this just got a vinyl version put out as well. And we got the pro tape here. Black pro tape with the, the artwork on it. The program repeats on both sides. But this is very, very high quality stuff. Love, love, love the quality of this tape. But yeah, go listen to Vessel of Iniquity. Very, very wild and crazy UK black metal. These next two tapes are of the same band, and uh, not too long ago I talked about this band, and uh, I was somehow able to come across some of this band's early tape material. And of course, I am talking about uh, Massachusetts' own Garotted. Uh, very uh, Lovecraftian sounding death metal, really impressive stuff, but yeah, this right here is their uh, debut demo in the court of Nyarlathotep. Uh, this is the tape version put out through Dark Descent Records, and uh, this is seriously impressive stuff. Really awesome demo showing what this band would soon later become for their next release. Uh, the Crawling Chaos, uh, Black Spectre. Just some seriously sick songs going on here. I love this fucking thing to death. Very, very impressive demo. Yeah, but yeah, let me show you the contents real quick. Nice artwork here. Bad members and credits in question. Lyrics for all the songs. Very good quality here. And it comes on a very nice red tinted pro tape. Very good quality here. I'm pretty sure the program repeats on both sides, but yeah. Very, very high quality tape here from Dark Descent. But yeah, in the court of Nyarlathotep is sick. But I think their new, their newest EP is even sicker. Yeah, this is garroted once again with of Damnation and Abyssal Terrors. Uh, Time Worn Records put this tape out, I think? But yeah. I'm not going to say too much to what I've already said in my previous review. Very, very impressive uh, uh, conceptual fantasy-driven death metal. Very top-notch stuff here, uh, but yeah, very simplistic sort of J card here. You have this badass artwork here, credits and information for most of the tracks, and it comes on a nice black pro tape. Very, very impressive stuff, but yeah, definitely go support Garotted. They are one of the best death metal bands going in today's spectrum right now. This next one is a very special one. I believe I saw Canyon talk about this in one of his more recent videos. He played this in one of his most recent videos. Uh, and uh, I was looking for a copy and it seemed to be sold out pretty much in any sort of format, either CD or vinyl. But luckily, I came across a tape version from a label called Folkvanger Records. And uh, I was lucky enough to score a tape copy of this. Uh, yeah, this is Bjorn's Hall with Estuary. Yeah. 
a 2018 release and uh, these guys are based out of New Hampshire and judging by the artwork and the sort of style of this band this is one of those really wild story driven fantasy sort of styles of black metal very folky very epic grandiose in nature in storytelling and it's really really impressive stuff um, really awesome black metal all the way through and through I, I, I would easily consider this, this to be one of the best albums of 2018 thus far uh, really really awesome songs the title track blood for Wotan call to Ravens I love the vocals I love the the, the singing I love the the the, the passion and genuineness coming from the vocals, but the music itself is absolutely killer. Lots of awesome riffs to be heard, lots of great drumming. This is a very well established black metal record and easily one of the best of the year. But yeah, I love this artwork here, very very beautifully done here. Nice Spine and J card. Credits and information. Uh, this is limited to 100 copies and mine is number 77 out of 100. Very very top quality stuff here. Uh, also comes with a download card, but if you want the download card, buy the tape yourself. And it comes on a smoky tinted pro tape with this artwork uh, printed on the tape itself. Very, very good quality here. Absolutely love this album. Uh, Bjorn's Hall Estuary, one of the best black metal records of 2018. Unbelievably. Next up we get to another one of my favorite albums of 2018, and this one is an absolute barn burner. Uh, easily one of the best death grind releases of 2018. Yeah, this is Galvanizer with Sanguine Vigil. Yeah. Unbelievably good. Probably some of the best 30 minutes you'll hear in death metal this year in 2018. Uh, these guys are based out of Finland, and the, this album was originally released on CD through the Everlasting Spew label, which is another really awesome metal label going on right now. And this is the tape version put out through Head Split Records. Absolutely sick as fuck. Um, death Grind. Uh, very much if you're into, like, um, maybe Demolic or Demigod or any sort of that kind of stuff, but with a little bit of a grindcore sort of edge going for it. Um... Wood for the Blade, Death Beat Deity, Grind Till You're Dead, um, Gore Festation. Absolutely rowdy, rowdy stuff going on here with this album. But easily one of the very best of the year. Let me show you the artwork in question here. Very, very badass. And I believe the same guy who did Demigod and all that sort of stuff, artwork, did this artwork here. Uh, credits and band information. Lyrics for most of the tracks. High quality as per usual from uh, Head Split Records. And uh, yeah, it comes on a very nice uh, silver pro tape. Very high quality here. But yeah, Sanguine Vigil by Galvanizer, one of the best albums of 2018. Some more 2018 madness, this time from the Vrasubatlet camp. Uh, yeah, this is Serum Drag with Lustful Vengeance. Yeah. Rasu Batlet put this out, and uh, this is a project based out of, um, I think they're based out of uh, Colorado? Colorado, Oregon, I don't remember where these guys are from, but most of the dudes that are in this band play in a bunch of really, really well-known bands to come out of Colorado or wherever. Uh, Ashbor, uh, Utsalu, Uskumgalu, um... Triumvir Foul. I think I think those are some of the bands that these dudes play in. But this is a really, really rowdy and nasty piece of death metal, black death metal. Really good sounding material. It's really short, I should say. But I think this is easily some of the best material you'll hear in 2018. Uh, Edifice of Hatred, Death Ritual, the closing track on here, uh, Blasphemic Black Death Noise. That's a very good way to describe this particular band in question. But yeah, Lustful Vengeance by Serum Drag. Absolutely impressive stuff. There you see this artwork here. There you see the Vrasu Batlet logo. Track listing and credits. And the bad members in question. I believe this is a duo. Really rowdy shit. And um, Black Pro Tape. Good quality here. Program repeats on both sides. 
But yeah, another really killer stuff release here from 2018 from uh, Serum Drag. Absolutely impressive as fuck. These next two tapes come from uh, Darkness Attacks Records, and this next tape is probably one of the best black metal demos of 2018 thus far. And there's really not a lot known about it other than the fact that this is absolutely deadly as hell. Yeah, this is Danaknernacht with The Wind of Hate Arises. Yeah. There's really not much that I know about this project other than I believe that this is a US based project and it's only a three track demo, but this is absolutely raw as fuck. The vocals, the riffs, the drumming, it's just really, really impressive sounding stuff and definitely anybody that's into raw black metal will appreciate a project like Denaknernacht. Uh, I almost called them Dankernacht, because <laughs> I misread the band name a little bit, but whatever. Absolutely killer band, and I want to hear more and see more from this band. But yeah, anyway, here's the front of the tape, the three knives with the back here. Credits and information, and I love what it says at the bottom here. No mixing, no mastering, only hate. Absolutely badass, blank on the opposite side, and a black pro tape. Uh, program repeats on both sides. Very, very killer tape here. High quality demo, and I'm very, very excited to see what happens next. So, yeah, Denagnernacht, uh, The Wind of Hate Arises. Check this one out. Next, we have some raw black metal from the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, this is the Vampiric Spectre with a dark quest in the name of death. Yeah. This is the project from, of course, by the person by the same name, uh, the Vampiric Spectre whom you also know for his work in projects like um, Blood Tower, excuse me, Blood Tower, combining bad names here, Blood Tyrant and Old Tower. This is the same guy, and this is a compilation of material that was pretty much never meant to be heard for the public ear, but this was a compilation that needed to be heard. Uh, very, very hateful, very raw sounding stuff. Um, Revel in Total Doom, uh, The Beast in the Dungeon, um, Spirit of Totenkopf, Last Kill Before Total Armageddon, absolutely raw and crazy and chaotic as fuck. But yeah, anyway, here's the front of the cover, here's the man himself, all the track listings, a little bit of a manifesto of sorts as to what you're going to be in for with a release in a project like this. I love what it says on the back here. The sounds enclosed here were not meant to be heard for the public ear, but it was decided they had to. All blank on the back side of this thing. Uh, this is limited to 100 copies, and the previous tape I showed you was also limited to 100 copies. But yeah, this is on a nice clear red tinted pro tape. Absolutely badass quality going on here with this tape. Really awesome stuff. But yeah, the Vampiric Spectre, the, a dark quest in the name of death. Go support this one. And the last of the 2018 releases is something brand new uh, that's going to be, uh, that was put out. But this is pretty limited stuff. And uh, this is from some absolute Filipino antichrists. Yeah, this is Diafago with Demo 2018. Yeah. This is a self-release demo from the band. And uh, yeah, long story short, if you're not familiar with Diafago, they are based originally out of the Philippines, but are also based out of Costa Rica. And this is a little self-release demo to give you a hint of what this project is going to be putting out next. I mean, if you're not aware of their sound, they're pretty much bestial, death black metal, death metal elements. Absolutely raw, raw stuff. But the three songs that are on here are showing a little forward progression from the last album that they put out, Into the Eye of Satan. I believe this album is going to be called I Am the Devil, and I believe they're working with uh, Kurt Ballou as far as production goes, which is very wild to me, but I'm really, really excited to see what progressions come from that, that particular full-length album, but with the three songs that are on here, Chaos Protocols, Neurosatanic Circuit, and Quantum Death, you just hear some absolutely wild and crazy stuff. Pretty much more wild and crazy than anything Diafago has ever done before. I mean, the vocals are there, the riffs and bass work are there, the drumming is absolutely fiery as fuck. Very, very awesome demo stuff to be heard here, but uh, I'm very curious to hear how the full, the next full length is gonna, gonna sound and what kind of progressions this band is gonna take, but yeah, I'll be showing you the tape quality here. 
love this artwork. Very, very rowdy stuff. Very simplistic uh, credits and information. Um, yeah, pretty much a self self release sort of affair here. Produced and mixed by the band. Uh, very high quality here. Uh, came with a nifty little 8x10 photo of the band. Autographed by all the band members in question. Very, very sick. And uh, this is a hand numbered tape. Uh, mine is number 36 out of 100. And uh, comes on a, a chrome tinted pro tape. Very, very good quality going on here. But yeah, very impressive uh, demo. And uh, I want to see what happens next. So yeah, Diafago Demo 2018. Check this one out. And this last handful of tapes I picked up from the last Morbosi Dodd show that I went to uh, uh, earlier this month. And a um, friend of mine was parting ways with some tapes. He had some absolutely killer deals. And um, I managed to pick up some absolute rarities. And these first two tapes are of the same artist. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get some music from this artist in my collection, but uh, better late than never, I say. Graveland. Yeah. Finally have Graveland in my collection, and these is the first two Graveland records, uh, Carpathian Wolves and uh, Thousand Swords. Uh, I believe these were originally reissued in 2001 via a label called the Colverot, but yeah. Graveland, I'm not going to say too much that Count Blagareth hasn't already said about Graveland before. Uh, Polish one-man black metal project, very controversial, very infamous, very legendary sort of stuff, very pagan sort of sounding stuff. But yeah, the earliest material of Graveland is what I consider the best material uh, in the glare of burning churches, uh, immortal pride. Uh, Carpathian Wolves and Thousand Swords, easily some of the best material I've, I, I would have heard from, 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 from early Graveland material. Uh, feel how you will, but I really enjoy this early era of the band. But yeah, let me show you the, the Carpathian Wolves thing first. Very, very top quality here. Nice J card here. Some lyrics for most of the tracks that are on here. Very, very awesome. Uh, comes on a dub sort of pro, on, a, on, a, on a Sony tape here. But yeah, and I and I did check the 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 credibility of all of these tapes here. These are legit reissues. So yeah, that's uh, Carpathian Wolves, Thousand Swords, legendary album cover here. Rob Darkin being Rob Darkin, looking uh, ready for battle. Uh, Kolovrat Productions out of the Ukraine. There you see Rob Darkin himself. Track listing and credits and. All this sort of stuff. Yeah, Blood of Christians on My Sword. Uh, the Time of Revenge. Little manifesto on the back of this thing. Lyrics for all the songs. And same sort of dub tape action going on here. Very, very good stuff here. But yeah, very happy to please to have Graveland in my collection. These next two are something very, very special. They're pretty much the same artist, but you would see what the forward progressions would be for this band in, in the near future. But yeah, of course I'm talking about Sperm of Antichrist. Uh, this is the Blight and Darkness demo. Of course, Sperm of Antichrist is a one-person project based out of Ohio, and this is some seriously raw and creative sort of black metal. Of course, uh, very impressive sounding stuff. Uh, a packed in stone and skin, born of the blighting angel. Uh, released in 2009. This demo still holds up very, very nicely. Let me show you the contents here. Uh, Hell's Headbangers put this one out. Love this artwork. Love the creativity going on here. White pro tape. Program repeats on both sides. Very top quality here. But yeah. Sperm of Antichrist would later go on to become Void Meditation Cult. And this is the Sulfurous Prayers demo. Of course, the, the two demos would be combined to do for a compilation release that Hell's Headbangers put out um, of uh, Blight and Darkness and Sulfurous Prayers, which is the two demos here. But this is the Void Meditation Cult demo. And Void Meditation Cult is doing some wonderful things right now, but we got a really great glimpse of what was going to be coming from this project in the future. Uh, Consecrated by Sacrifice, uh, All of the Devil's Temple, 
absolutely killer, killer songs here. And of course, Void Meditation Cult put out their debut full length a couple of years ago. Really, really top quality stuff. But yeah, let me show you the contents of the J card here. Love, 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 love this artwork. Um, yeah, Daniel Desecrator artwork. There you see additional artwork here. Badass photography going on here. Comes on this really nice dark blue pro tape. Program repeats on both sides as expected. But yeah, seriously killer, killer stuff. I love Void Meditation Cult. Sperm of Antichrist is sick as fuck too. But yeah, go check this one out. Last, next up we have some one of the rare demos that I came across. And I couldn't believe I even found this in, in, in my friend's stack here. Yeah, this is Antediluvian. Uh, this is their uh, 2006 debut demo. Of course, if you know um, Antediluvian, they are based out of Canada, and they are currently one of the best Canadian Black Death bands to have ever existed right now. And they still are, are very much important and relevant stuff here. But, uh, yeah. This is their debut demo from 2006, and this only served as the precipice for what would be soon to come from this band in the later years, with later full lengths like uh, Through the Cervix of Hawa and um, um, that one album with that one title that I can't pronounce that Nuclear War now put out. You guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Very, very impressive first demo from the band with um, uh, Nephilim Abomination, Tears of Sodom. Just some of the tracks that are on this demo, it's just really, really impressive. And like I said, this is only a, would only serve as a glimpse of what would be coming soon from Antediluvian. But yeah, here's the front of the tape, spine, some of the tracks, a demo, uh, June of 2006. There you see the band members in question here. Very, very top quality stuff here with this, uh, this layout. And it comes on a blank, uh, on a black dub tape I think I'm pretty sure this is dub tape I'm not too sure but yeah this is a uh, yeah really really pleased to have something from Antediluvian as far as their early material is concerned really really badass stuff and the last tape I'm going to show you is of probably one of the greatest finished black metal projects of all time and I'm very pleased to have something from this project in a tape form yeah this is uh, Satanic War Master with Revelation of the Night yeah Tour de Garde put this out, and this is a compilation of the two EPs that uh, Satanic War Master did back in the early 2000s with um, Of the Night and Revelation. Uh, pretty much these are songs you're probably accustomed and familiar with, as far as of the night goes, Chronicles of Thy Astral Blood, uh, Revelation, Signs of Fighter Storm. Uh, really, really killer tracks here, and pretty much Satanic War Master being Satanic War Master. Pretty much, you, I don't need to say too much about Satanic War Master. You're already familiar with what this project is all about and how things work out here. But let me show you the contents of the tape here. Credits and information, there you see Werewolf right here. Lyrics for most of the tracks. The Tyrant Werewolf himself. And this is limited to 500 copies. My copy is number 158 out of 500. Um... No Colors Records originally put out both of these EPs, but yeah, it's pretty nice to have these in a, in a demo uh, compilation. Now you see it's a pro tape, Revelation of the Night. Yeah, very, very badass stuff here. But yeah, nice to have a compilation of uh, Satanic War Master on tape, especially of two very intriguing EP releases from Satanic War Master. But yeah, Revelation of the Night by Satanic War Master. Go check this one out. And uh, yeah, this was a pretty lengthy video, so I'm going to conclude it here. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you happen to have heard or own any of these releases, definitely let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it. We can go from there. I'll also leave you some links to most of the stuff I talked about here in this video. Uh, go subscribe to Michael Laura. He is absolutely one of the nicest, coolest people you'll ever get a chance to know, meet, and talk to. A uh, very great guy, great YouTuber, very underappreciated. Uh, but yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Army Out.